did you realize that you were interested uh, in the arts? Well, uh, I uh, grew up in a kind of creative and artistic household. Uh, I had the great fortune of having a father who was uh, a painter uh, in Glasgow, in Scotland, where I where I was born and grew up. Uh, and my dad was um, he was he was pretty damn good. He was a, a wonderful portrait painter, a great landscape painter, and still life painter. And he was uh, figurative in his style. Uh, and the approach that he had to the canvas was very much influenced by uh, the, the training he had at Glasgow School of Art and the history of uh, the kind of painters that had been through that establishment. So I, I, I grew up in, in this home and I regularly had my own portrait painted uh, somewhat reluctantly on my behalf, but by my dad. And, um, and I would pose on Saturday mornings and, you know, gradually I, I, I would watch as my dad busied himself and I became very familiar with uh, uh, the practices and the techniques of uh, an artist's um, studio. It was uh, it was quite an education. So your father was supportive when you decided to sort of uh, you know become a painter yourself. Yeah, well, I mean, when I was, I mean, I have a brother and a sister, and you know, like all kids, uh, we all drew and painted when we were little and um uh, i i we were fortunate my, my dad would, would give us big sheets of paper to work on and there was always you know a bit of charcoal or some pencils around um but he he, he was never uh formally engaged in sort of training or teaching any of us he he would watch what we were up to and he would always encourage uh and gradually i think um he could see that whilst maybe my brother and sister uh, began to have other interests, um, painting and drawing was something which from a very early age I was kind of um, driven to do. And I think that if you're going to kind of forge a career uh, in the art world, it's prob probably quite important that uh, it's, it actually is a sort of vocation. <laughs> you know, It's something that you are compelled to do so as a four-year-old I uh, was drawing away and painting and he began to I think nudge me towards you know copying the work of certain artists towards looking at other paintings a bit more and throughout my childhood he was always there to counsel me and sometimes infuriate me as he uh, advised me on what I should be doing in my, my, my the different paintings I was working on so um so yeah, he 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 was an important figure, but never in a sort of pushy way. It wasn't one of those sort of relationships where, where my parents were driving me on to be an artist. They just kept an eye on it, and uh, and 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 whatever I, I I kind of expressed an interest in doing, they would they would support me. What artists did your father encourage you to copy, as you said? Well, uh, my dad was very familiar with the, the tradition of Scottish painting, which involves great figures like um, uh, Rayburn and Alan Ramsey, uh, uh, artists who are very uh, familiar to people who grew up in Scotland, but are perhaps not well known necessarily outside of Scotland. And Rayburn and Ramsey are, are two great portrait painters from the 18th and uh, uh, early 19th centuries who had fantastic careers and made the most extraordinary work. And I do recall very much that he would point me in that direction. I mean, he would always choose images that might be uh, of interest to a young aspiring artist. So uh, when he would direct me to paint a Rayburn, it would be uh, one of the portraits of uh, a kilted Highlander set against a, a magnificent Highland backdrop that he thought might, 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 might you know, tickle my fancy. And then he'd also, you know, give me paintings by Van Dyke to look at with, with great horses and people on horseback and kind of um, romantic images uh, that tied in with what he felt and what, which was true, a young boy who, you know, spent the rest of his time playing with his toy soldiers or with his castle, wherever it was, um, might, uh, might be excited to draw and sketch. So I would copy those images and then I would create my own versions of it all. Uh, and, um, you know, he would he would gather all this stuff up and I have it. M much of the work that I created when I was younger is stashed into folders. Um, and it is quite amusing to sort of every so often I stumble across the material and I look at it and I realize oh, yeah, that's, that's, that I can see, I can trace the journey that I started when I was, you know, relatively young.